Okay, Terrell. Um, basically, your game's in pretty good shape. But with some things that are going on, certain patterns, once they break down, are going to give you over and under reaction, especially if it's more on, on a sport pattern. There's a few reasons for that. We're going to get into that in just a moment. But the main things I see with you is a little bit of loss of leverage and trying to position your body prematurely instead of letting your body work the ball into position. You're trying to force the position. So we're going to go through a few things. And I really, I, I want you to work on what I'm going to tell you in order. If we don't work on it in order, I can tell you right now, you're just going to do nothing but get frustrated and we're not going to make any progress together. So please keep in mind the way that I go about things. I want you to go in order with what I'm about to explain to you. Okay, so let's go with the very first thing. Right now, the setup, you've got the ball to the outside of the body. I can actually see a shadow of it right there. So you've got it to the outside. But then you take it even further to the outside, right here. You put your hand well outside your elbow. So basically, you're taking away the leverage of the swing and putting the ball away from your right foot. And really, we want to take it with or put it in line with the right foot. So at the moment, because of the way you're setting the swing, the hand is aiming over here. But watch what's going to happen next. Because it's not a natural position for us, the next thing that the hand's going to do is going to rotate inside early, and you're going to be inside on the a little bit too early on the bottom of the swing. And then you're going to have to try and force the position so your body goes up and down with it. So let me kind of get into where we're going to go with this. The main thing is when you take your second step and you're going in line with your second step, which I'm going to show you is the proper thing, you want to feel as though you're hiding the ball from anybody behind you. You don't want to prematurely see the ball. And I'm going to give you some examples. So here you're taking the step to the inside which again, in my opinion, is the proper thing to do. But then the ball is going to the outside. What that does more than anything is it makes a player miss left more than they do right. And it also makes the front part of the lane too sensitive. That's where I see the traps for you. So I want to compare you to a few players and show you whether they're power players, straight players, any type of player. They all have certain common things in order to get their body to function and the uh, body to leverage the swing instead of treating them as separate pieces. When you're doing what you're doing right now, it literally treats the swing as one piece and the body as another piece. That in itself makes things too hard to copy. So now in the top right window, I've got Jason Belmonte, two-hand player, but still, we're going to break it down that all players are basically the same. So he's going to take his first step, and now the second step. Now if you notice, from there, you can see his elbow, but he's literally going to move the ball further inside and on top of the right leg. So I don't see a bowling ball to the outside of the body like we do with you. Let's go down to a straighter player. Let's go to Norm Duke. You're going to go step one, step two. Now, his is slightly to the outside, but do you see a gap in the top half over here, as in your window? If you notice, he still has the ball basically in line with the right leg, because here's the right leg, He's going to move the right leg in and allow the swing to come more in place of the right leg. You go down here to Danny Wiseman. There's step one. Watch step two. Ball is hidden. So they're not showing the ball to you early. They're keeping the ball more in front of them. 
This actually allows the body to create more leverage and allows the upper body to rotate more evenly, where right now it's being forced by you, basically because of the mistake that you can see right here. The ball being too far to the outside of the body, they're not creating a gap. I'm going to show you what I mean by the gap. So now we're going to go just a little further. And right here, you can actually see where the swing is coming in, right in around the head, and then it's going to bump to the outside right there. So now that's a forced motion. Watch with them. Nothing is going to come into the outside, and the hand's going to stay right in line more with the body, whether it's Danny Wiseman, Jason Belmonte, or even Norm Duke. So a lot of it is the direction in which you're setting the swing. You're sweat setting it to the right, they're setting it more in front of them. The way you go about this is you do it a little bit at a time. If you try and get too straight with your swing or more in to out, which I want to get more to, it, too fast and too quickly, it's just going to destroy you. You want to take it and you want to keep in front of you just a little bit more at a time. I'm going to show you how the arms actually work, and then I'll show, show you some examples. So now, basically, I've set my hands up the way your setup is to the outside of my body. Now watch, all I'm going to do is I want to unfold my arm. That puts my hand outside of my body. Well, like in any other sport, whether it be basketball, football, baseball, the hands are centered under the body or in front of the body. Take a pitcher's wind-up. They don't take them to the outside because we can't create enough leverage. And that object of, ba of a baseball much lighter than a bowling ball. So when you take the arm to the outside, you're actually killing the leverage. And you're going to end up creating that gap. Especially if you take the first step with the right foot inside, which again, I told you is, in my opinion, proper. So I want to show you how we should go about it. So here, I've just kept my hands more in front of me. Now when I unfold my arms, my arm is actually now straight. And I have not created a gap. The key is that you want to walk around the ball, which you already do, by moving the right foot in line. So that opens up a space for the swing to travel through because we've walked around the ball. Well, you can't do both. You can't walk around the ball and put the ball away from you. It makes it too difficult to repeat day in and day out, especially when you start bowling on more competitive or what is now known as a sports pattern. So we need to work that out a little bit. Key factor, keeping the ball hidden from the players behind you for as long as possible. I'm going to show you a front view with Danny Wiseman. 